Hey, how's it going? This is Mike. And Jess. <laughs> and we're here to play yet another game of War Cry. <laughs> this time I'll say it right though. Uh, in our tiny little kitchen. Woo, there's a guy set up right there. Whoa, and my bald head, but whatever. We'll get past that. Uh, today I will be playing Iron Jaws. And I'm playing Untamed Beasts. All right, so we're gonna see how that goes. I plan on really just beating her up this time since she beat me last time, so. We'll see. See how it goes. <laughs> So here's our teams for today. This is going to be the Iron Jaws. We've got a group of six, I think. And then we got the Untamed Beast with these really sweet colors that we're working on. Just We got bored of all the normal ones we saw out there, so we're trying something kind of out there. Um, and I guess where we start would be that their initiative roll. So let's do it. And I got three, just got to four. That means she wins initiative. So we'll start setting up our battle groups. So this is how I set up my battle groups. This is going to be my dagger. This is going to be my shield. And this is going to be my uh, hammer. My leader is going to be right here. He's just an Arda boy boss. Uh, and I also got an ally, a mega boss right here. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to play with this guy, see what he can do. Although he's huge base, so I'm gonna, that may be causing issues. We'll find out. So this is going to be my dagger, shield, and hammer. And then my leader is this guy right there. All right. Cool. So Jessica won the priority roll, thus she gets to pull the cards. Uh, in the terrain deck, we've got both non non match play and match play cards, but in the deployment and the victory conditions, we have only match play to try to keep it somewhat balanced. Uh, so yeah, she's gonna pull now. Pull now. All right. <laughs> so this is gonna be what our terrain card looks like and how we're going to set up our terrain today. It's going to be semi-open battlefield looks like. This is going to be our deployment. It looks like both our hammer and shields will be starting on the battlefield and then the daggers will be coming in round two. All right, so for the victory condition, we were just kind of laughing about this. So at the end of the, each battle round, <laughs> each player scores one victory point for each fighter from the warband that is on a platform at least three inches vertically above the battlefield floor. The battle ends after three battle rounds. When the battle ends, the player with the most victory points wins the battle. It's interesting because this deployment <laughs> has a very small amount of actual platforms and they're way off in the corners. So this will be an interesting one. So for our twist card, we got favorable position, which means we uh, draw two twist cards. Well, I cannot talk today. Redrawing cards with the fate rune mark and then roll off. The winner picks which of these twist cards is an effect for this battle. All right, so the first one we picked was Bloodwind, which is attack, sorry, it had one to the attack and strength characteristics of all fighters this battle with one or more damage points allocated to them. Uh, so kind of like being a berserk or something, I guess. Uh, let's see what the other one is. Pick was an Enervating Totem. Hmm. Subtract one from the strength characteristics to a minimum of one of attack actions made by fighters this battle that have a range characteristic of three or less. So we're going to roll off to see who gets to pick which uh, wild card we go with. I got a five and just got three and I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with Bloodwind because I want to see what that does for us. So this is what the train looks like after setup. Uh, Jessica rolling the priority roll, which means she gets to pick which deployment she's going to be. And she has decided that she is going to be red, which means she's going to start up here with her hammer and shield, and then her, her uh, dagger coming down there. And similar with me right here, I'll start here, and then my dagger will come in here around too. Cool, so let's get it going. So after deployment, this is where Jessica's hammer, which is these two right here, and then shield I'm sorry, those three, and then, ow, sorry. And then these three are the shield, which match up right there, so she'll be within six inches, hammers up against the board edge. For me over here, this is uh, my shield right here, and my hammer is right here, which matches up with that. And then round two, we have our guys setting up on the perimeters, ready to come in round two for our daggers. And this is what we look like from a far away shot. So now we're gonna start it off. Here goes round one, and we're gonna do our initiative roll, starting with Jess first. Oh, where are you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. 
So I got two doubles and uh, two initiatives. All right, cool. Let me see what I got. Turn to roll for initiative. So I ended up with a triple, a double, and a single, which is going to give Jess initiative. Uh, and she gets to pick what she does with her wild dice first. So I am actually just going to save my wild dice. Saving it for the next round. Sounds good. Boop, boop. And I think that what I'm going to do with my wild dice is also save it for the next round. So that's what's going to be. All right, so I'm going to take my leader and I'm just going to double move him to land up here. Okay, we'll see what he looks like when he gets up there. And this is where he ends up. And now it's going to pass over to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my leader's triple. Uh, it's called Wah! Mm -hmm. And it basically, all my fires within six inches add the ability... Uh, what I got the value of the ability dice to my move characteristic friendly fires within six inches of the spider so it's gonna add four to each to the movement of each fighter within six inches of this guy <laughs> <laughs> so I just measured and this is my leader right here and all these guys are gonna be within six inches of them so they're all gonna get to have that extra additional move and now I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my leader and I'm gonna move them that direction over towards them, see if I can get some of these guys all stuck up in combat. So this is where my uh, leader, the Ardor Boy boss, ends up. He had a base move of three. The ability gave him a move of four. So I just double moved him over here and got into combat with this little planes runner guy. So he started all the way over here. Are you ready? And he ran all the way up there. I am gonna move my first thing. Um, I'm gonna use a double ability um, to use Rush. Which is the universal ability? Universal ability. Okay, yeah, cool. Sorry. Um, and then it will make him land about there. All right, so we'll see where he land, lands once he gets up there. And this is where he ends up after the move from down there. For my next activation, I'm going to use my Gore Choppa, and I'm going to try to do something similar just see how far I can get him over there with a double move, see if I can start getting this area congested, because, well, I pretty much have to deal with some of those guys <laughs> or I will just automatically lose. So he also has my Gore Chopper right here has a movement of three. He got four from the wall ability added to that. So he was able to move a total of 14 inches from over here all the way over here. And he's just trying to get into the zone here where he can maybe block or try to get up on the platform himself. All right, so I'm gonna use my other double to use Rush again <laughs> um, to give my Pray Taker with the Fing Dax, uh, another move to each action, and then I'm just gonna put him next to this guy. All right, so he's running up there to hang out with his pal. It's fine, no. It's a good choice. These orcs are kind of scary. Yeah. <laughs> and that is how we look once he gets up there. Uh, so far, the platform control is definitely under just, uh, and oof, I don't know. We'll see how I can do about trying to. <laughs> block this anymore. I don't know. It's not looking good. <laughs> so I have these two guys left. I think I'm going to take my Arda boy with the axe and just use my double move to try to get him up over here to block this platform from the guys coming in next round. This is where we got him after that. Uh, he was able to move a total of 14 inches but didn't even need to do all that to run from there, climb up, and get on top of the platform to kind of block. So these guys coming in a little bit later. <laughs> So I'm actually going to use my first thing, my other first thing, <laughs> my second thing, um, second thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to just attack that stupid orc for two this, times. This is one my order boy boss? Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So he gets two attacks, um, a range of eight, um, so that's definitely within it. Um, two attacks at strength of four. Oh. And I have a toughness of four. Oh really? That's surprising. Um, okay, yeah. And so fours, fives, and sixes. And let's see what happens. Ooh. So, so far I did five damage. Oh, wow. Okay. And then I get to roll one more time. And then I did four damage. Two, four. Two, four. So, total of nine against my 25. Oh, God. That leaves my Art of Boy boss with 16 from, he had 25 health, but now he has 16. Jesus. Those guys can hit hard when they crit. Hey, you wow. So once again, we're over here. I'm going to use basically a double move again, getting him up on the platform next to his buddy over here and block these guys when they come in round two. And I'll show you where that looks like once I get him over there. Again, he had a move of three with the ability he got an extra four, so he was able to move 14. He started about there, and he ran, climbed, came up here, and is up to his homeboy over here. 
and ready to deal with Dagger as they enter in round two. And this is what we're looking like so far. Mine's not ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now I'm just going to um, attack the orc. <laughs> my uh, Arda Boy boss. Arda Boy boss. Uh, with my planes runner, he is very weak, but um, he is engaged, so. So he's gonna make sense. Just gonna fight with him. I'm just gonna. It looks like a fight you can win. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so I have a toughness <laughs> of four. I have a strength of three. All righty, so <laughs> it's gonna be fives and sixes. Yep, I get three attacks. So let's see what happens. Oh, uh, I did one. one damage. So one so far. And let's see what else we can do. Uh, one damage. So a total of two, and that's going to bring him down to 14 then. Yay. I have no more guys left. There's only one planes runner yep. left for Jess. Uh, what are you going to do with him? I am just going to run him over this way. He has two moves, so he can run him all uh, a total of 10. So I'm just going to run him this way to um, get him prepared to get on a platform. Okay, sounds like a plan. I'll show you where you, he gets to then. So that's where he ends up, right there. Uh, looking like he's going to try to get around here if he can. Ah, uh, and at the end of round one, this is what we're looking like. So yeah, I'm excited to see what happens once the other guy, once so blah, once the daggers come in round two. <laughs> <laughs> that's English. All right, so at the end of the round, we count up for every person on, or for each fighter we have on the platform. And uh, we get one point each. <laughs> so just has three, three, and I have two. Eight. So that so that brings the score three to two. Uh, whatever those savages' names are, Untamed Beasts taking the win at the moment. Top of round two. We're gonna roll off for initiative, starting with Jess. Go ahead. Okay. All right, so I got the same thing as last time. Uh, two doubles and two initiative. Okay, let's see what mm -hmm. I get. Rolling right here. <laughs> so it turns out I got six initiative. I'm not exactly sure what the odds on that. If you want to report whatever that ratio is, I'd be interested <laughs> in knowing. But what I can tell you is that is not going to help me <laughs> with winning this because I could have really used using a wah as that guy came in. That now these guys are really slow. Yeah, it's a triple. Uh, so, <laughs> so this is going to not help <laughs> at all. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what I can do with it. Okay, <laughs> yep. So what I decided I'm going to do <laughs> is I'm going to do two doubles. So, so what I decided to do is I'm going to use a double on the mega boss and use charge which gives me a bonus move action, uh, which he only has a three inch move, but I just have to end up closer to him. So what I'm gonna first do is I'm going to climb this for three, then I'm going to use charge to jump across and then use my last three inch, my last action for a three inch move just to try to take up this real estate space and be up here on the platform. So a total of three moves just to get him up there. So this is where my mega boss ends up. He can't do anything else except for stare really angrily at that person. <laughs> and that's what he's going to do with this round. So now we're going to pass over to Jess. All right. So I'm going to use my Rock Tusk Prowler. Um, I'm going to use my... that guy? Yeah, my little lion guy. Okay. Um, he's going to use a triple, um, which is called Pounce. Um, so if he ends his move action uh, within one inch of an enemy... He allocates a number of damage points equal to that ability, which is a six. So you got a triple six? Got a triple six. Ooh, okay. That's um, not good. So, yeah. <laughs> so he's going to, uh, he has eight moves, so he's going to move to the wall, jump up, jump over here, and then uh, do it to one of those guys. Okay. So and we'll then show, attack. Okay, so we'll show you what he looks like when he gets up there. My Rock Tusk Prowler um, is going to, uh, so this guy right here, your... Uh, my Arda Boy with X. Arda Boy with X. <laughs> um, he is going to take six um, automatically for pounce. Okay. And then I am going to attack him. I have four attacks. Uh, strength of four. Toughness of four. Perfect. Uh, so four is five and sixes. Um, so I get one crit, which is five damage. Holy. So that's a total of 11? Yes. So he has a total. He has 15 to start with. Minus 11, meaning he has four life left. So back on this side of the board, I'm going to use my double on this uh, Arter Boy with his axe as well. 
Uh, I'm gonna use my last double to give use the charge again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move three inches. I'm gonna charge to get up this wall to get start climbing this wall. Then I'm gonna use my last three to get up here, uh, and then I'll be up on this platform, kind of blocking some stuff off, hopefully. Stupid. This is how it looks once we're up here. Uh, <laughs> it's it's kind of scary. <laughs> yep. So we got those two guys there, and then over here the rock touch prowler is hanging out with my Arda boys. Uh, it's gonna be just a turn now. All right, I am gonna use my uh, beast speaker. She is gonna move over here, um, and then we measured, and she will be within range of uh, my little lion guy. Um, and she's gonna attack this guy because he's within four, and she has a four inch range. And then with she's with her whip. With her whip. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and then she's gonna use her double called Beastmaster, which um, uh, pick a friendly fighter with a beast room mark, which is my lion. That lion there. Uh, my Rusta Boktus probably. And um, he can make a bonus attack action after that. Okay, so basically, she's going to move up against this wall, use her whip to attack that Arda boy, and then use her double to make the lion uh, attack one of these guys again after that. So give a second, we'll show you what that looks like. All right, so she has four attacks, um, strength of four. Okay, going towards this orc here with the axe, right? Yep. All right, so I have a toughness of four as well. Uh, does he get cover for being... Oh, and cover for being uh, above, so he actually will have a toughness of five. Okay, so it'll be, only, it'll be fives and sixes, okay. so let's see. Uh -huh. Nice call. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> so she doesn't do much damage, but she did one, two, three, four. So, oh, four? she killed oh, him. Just enough to kill him, so he's gone. For real. Now I killed that Arda boy with an axe. Now my uh, Rock Test Prowler um, is going to attack... The uh, order boy with the shield, I think he is. Yep, okay. okay. Uh, and then this is using your double, right? Yes, this is a double, so it's just a bonus attack, actually. Okay, for the thing. Okay, go ahead. So you, um, I have a toughness of five. All right, I have a strength of four. Okay, fives and sixes. All right, let's see what we can do. Four attacks. Oh, um, so I did two four. Four, so he has 15 minus Eight. four brings him to 11. Could have been better. On my turn, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my order boy... Uh, boss, I'm gonna move him three to be in contact with both of these ending up closer to this guy because I'm close to him already and Then I'm going to attack one of them. So I'll show you what I look like when I'm done with that Oh, now I'm going to, I decided I'm going to attack the planes runner uh, I have four attacks as strength of five to a toughness of three <laughs> three so it's gonna be threes or higher Oh and that's going to be two hits. Oh, three hits, sorry. Three hits. Uh, and that's going to be two damage, so two, four, six. Oh, he still lives. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> lives by one. I mean, two. Two. All right, I'm going to use my move um, to use my first thing. I'm going to move him up just slightly to make some room on here. Is that here. your first thing or your second thing? This is my first thing. That's my second oh, thing. that's your second thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> And then uh, his second attack, act, uh, second action, I am going to attack this guy. That guy? Okay, mm -hmm. so we'll show you what he looks like when he moves, and then we'll do the attack. All right, so he gets two attacks, uh, strength of four. My toughness is also four. So four is five and sixes, and nothing. Oh, that hurts. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. I could really use not being hurt right now, though, because I have <laughs> two more rounds of attacks coming this way. <laughs> So for my last move, I have my Gore Choppa. I really, really want to walk over there and just smack that guy to death. But I think that the better move is going to be move this way, see if I can do something with the platforms uh, next turn. So I'm basically just going to move him this way and see if I can get him up there, but I don't think I can. I don't think it'll fit. This little orc jamboree looks like down here. Uh, we'll see if I can do something about this next turn. Uh, maybe I can crit him and he'll fall off and then I can jump up there only <laughs> that would just be great anyways uh yeah so this is what we're looking like so far as you can see very little action in the middle <laughs> <laughs> a lot of stuff going on over here okay all right i am gonna use my plane runner over here hiding uh he's just gonna use his move to get up here he could technically do something else but there's not really anything else he could do so he's just gonna boop. Yeah. well i guess she she's gonna boop <laughs> Yeah, I totally forgot this person was back there, so <laughs> there it is. All right, so we'll show you what it looks like when she jumps on up. This is what this little party looks like up here. She's just showing us our butt. I don't know. I guess she doesn't even care about us enough to look at us. <laughs> <laughs> Coming back to this end of the board, woo, uh, we're going to go with 
my Arda Boy with Shield into the Rock Tusk Prowler. I have a strength of four with three attacks. Strength, uh, toughness of four. Toughness of four, so four, fives, and sixes. Oh boy. So I have a six, which is gonna be for four damage to start. And then one more go. Uh, and then that's going to be two more for one each, so it's going to be a total of six damage that you take. How mm -hmm. much did you have total in the beginning? Twenty. Twenty minus six is going to be fourteen. fourteen. Okay, so now I'm going to use my um, second thing. <laughs> <laughs> and he is just going to use his regular melee attack against the this weird orc guy. Um, orc Arda Boy boss. Whatever. Um, <laughs> And he's going to use a double to do the universal uh, move onslaught, which adds one to the attack characteristics of both of his, or whatever attack actions he makes. Yep. Um, so instead of three, he will get four. Get four, okay. And your strength is? Four. Toughness of four. Four, fives, and sixes. So I did two damage. Okay. And then I'm going to do it again. And Ooh. Ooh. I did one, two, um, wait, sorry, four, five, six. Six plus two yeah. is eight, and I have 14. Oh, God. It brings my Arda Boy boss down to six health with still one more attack coming in from the Plains Runner. All right, so I have no more uh, dice to use. <laughs> I mean, like, uh, special dice. So I am just going to normal attack him with my little baby Plains Runner. He has a strength of three. Toughness of four. All right, so fives and sixes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so I did three, six, seven. Seven, so, so oh, he's, he's dead. Dead. And you said you weren't gonna kill him. <laughs> I know, I didn't expect that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so since I killed him with my first action that I didn't expect, um, I'm just gonna move him over here to potentially get on him. Maybe. Platform Maybe. if it opens up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sounds like a plan. We'll get him over there. And that is where he ends up, right there, rounding over the ground in the corner. So, uh, is that your last move? Yes. All right. Then that will come bring us to the end of round two, right? Yep. Okay. Let's count up our points. All right. So I ended up having one, two, three, four, five. Five. Okay, so that's three guys on that platform. One right there, one right there, total of five. I have one over here and two over here, which means three. Means I have a total of five to a total of eight. Uh, so it looks like I completely forgot about my leader, um, the heart eater. Oh, that's why. Um, <laughs> so I actually have another move to do with him, and I'm just going to attack the... Mega boss. Mega boss. All right, so boss... <laughs> Versus a much better mega boss. We'll see how this ends up. <laughs> Alrighty, so on my four attacks, uh, strength of four. I have a toughness of six. Jesus. Alright, so fives and sixes. <laughs> so nothing? Nothing. One Not more. A, I mean, he is pretty tough looking, to be fair. Yeah, one more. And then I did five, six, seven. Seven, and I have a total of 38 in health. 38. Yeah, so he's down to 31. Uh, he didn't really feel it, to be honest. Whatever. Just to square things up, he actually had a toughness of five, but that doesn't change the rolls that we just did. Okay. Uh, I was reading his strength, which I'll get to use next turn, hopefully. Mm -hmm. So this is what we're looking like. Still very little action in the middle. Can't figure mm -hmm. it out. Um, we're going to go with the initiative roll, starting with Jessica. Go ahead. Hmm. So it looks like I got a triple, a double, and one initiative. Okay, now it's my turn to roll. All right, so this is what I end up with. I get two doubles and two initiative, which means I get to pick how to use my initiative dice, which means I am going to just give myself another initiative, just to guarantee I get to go first, because <laughs> I think that I really need to do that. And we'll see what happens. All right, so I got a triple, a double, and one initiative. So I'm actually just gonna use my um, bonus dice, sorry, uh, to make another double. Okay, so two doubles and one triple. But what I'm gonna start off by doing is using my mega boss to attack the heart eater, I think it is? Heart eater, yes. Um, and I'm gonna use a double to use onslaught to give myself an extra attack. 
He starts with six attacks, so he's going to get seven uh, on both of them. Mm. So we'll do the roll here in a moment. <laughs> okay, so I get seven attacks, strength of six to a toughness of four. Four. So threes are higher. This is not looking good so far. Wow. So that's four. Four is your normal attack? Four, is, four times four is 16. Plus eight is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24? You have one life left? It doesn't matter if it's over 20, I'm dying. Oh, okay. Well, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Before his last move, I am just going to block up more of this thing here. -ish. I, no. Moving back right there. Like that, I think. Or that. There we go. All right. So um, my first thing is going to use a triple. Um, it's called a harpoon snag. It is get, I'm going to make a bonus attack action. And then um, afterwards, I'm going to pull the fighter I attacked, which will be this. Oof. Um, Arda boy with two hundred X. Yeah, uh, it's gonna pull it towards me um, a number of inches, equal to my triple, which is a one, which is not great, but it's great for this situation because he, oops, ouch, he'll do that, he'll fall, and oh then I'm gonna make a move action and then another attack. Action. Okay, so basically you're gonna harpoon that poor orc, pull him, make him fall off the edge. Yep, got it. All right, so here's my um, harpoon's neck. I got two attacks, uh, strength of four. Toughness of four. Five, or four, five, and sixes, so nothing. But it still snags him. And pulls him. And so pulls him we'll in show you, goes. We'll show you where he ends up. Oh. <laughs> so that is where he ends up, way down there. <laughs> um, he also fell more than three inches or more, which or three inches, which means he takes impact damage potentially. So we'll see if he takes any damage. He does, three. So nice. that brings him from 15 to 12. All right, so now I get my regular um, actions with this guy. Um, my first thing, he is going to jump to here and then use his other attack or his other action to attack that guy again. Okay, the big boss? Uh, no, the little guy right here. Oh, the little guy down there. Yeah. Okay. We'll see what that looks like in a sec. All righty, so he has two attacks again at a strength of four. Tough as a four, attacking that poor little guy like shooting fish in a barrel. Go ahead. All right, so four is five and six. Let's see if I can do it again. And nothing. Nada. Okay, uh -huh. so he's doing okay. Well, he just hurt himself, at least. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess technically hurt him by pulling him down. Yeah. So, I'm pretty sure that this is going to end in defeat, but uh, I'm just going to try sticking it as much as I can. So, I'm just going to try to see if I can move my Gorchapa up here to at least get some points and, you know, stay relevant, I guess. <laughs> well, we'll see. I'll show you where he, uh, what he looks like when he gets up there. And this is how we look. After he moved up or climbed to the wall and kind of stood there. Go so back to this end of the board. Uh, what are we doing? I'm just going to use my Rock Tusk Prowler and attack that guy twice. So, Arter Boy was a shield. Uh, your strength is? Strength of four, four attacks. Uh, my guy has a toughness of five. So, fives and sixes. Whoa, we're, we're ha ho. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, it does two, four, six. For the first. Oh, you got it. Jeez, nice done. Okay. And then for the second, hopefully they don't fly that far. Oh, good. And then five. So six and five is 11. I have ah. 11 health, so that would do what you would call kill me. <laughs> we are on this side of the board now. Uh, this is basically just going to be a moral victory because uh, I don't have any guys besides these three left. And she pretty much won this game. But for the fun of it, I'm going to charge this guy, uh, and then if I'm not in range, then I'll move and then attack him. If I'm not, if I can, if I'm in range after the charge, then I'll just double attack him. So I'll show you where I end up and what that looks like. Oh, I had to charge, then I started to use a move. I get three attacks at strength of four to a toughness of... Three. Three. Let's see if I can put him down. Oh, he's dead. He's so at dead. least I shed some blood on her team by the before the end of this. <laughs> Because otherwise, it would have just been a total onslaught of me losing. Um, so, yeah. Dead. There. Oh, wow. Apparently, orcs can kill stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew that orcs would, lo would lose in a game of trying to s climb up platforms? <laughs> <laughs> so, this is what it looks like. I've used all my guys. I 
no longer have anyone to move. And this pretty much means that this is the end of the game. Um, she could potentially, you probably could get him up there, right? Mm hmm Yep. And then this person over here could come up here. Definitely. Uh, basically, I just get two more points. It'll put me at five. Not even enough to catch up to her. I'd be at seven to yeah, eight. Yeah. Oh, five. See, that's what I'm saying. Five, that'd be me a seven. Oh, sorry. Yep, so that'd bring me a seven, and then you're already eight, so I can even beat you if I didn't get any more of your guys up there. Uh, but yeah, so the numbers definitely won this game. That and just, you know, orcs are not made to climb platforms. So <laughs> we, I think we've proven that today. <laughs> but I gave it my best, and I did everything I could, and it just didn't work. So it was a fun game. Thank you, Jess. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I've never seen a game with nothing happening in the middle, though. Like, yeah, this has been interesting. Um, it's a weird one. This is kind of strange, yeah. Uh, that was cool. It was fun. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.